Good morning lovely year one children. I hope you're well and you have had a nice weekend at home with your family. It's been bright hasn't it? it? Hasn't been that warm but it's been lovely and bright and sunny so I hope you've been out for some outside time in the park or for a walk um, and enjoyed being able to go out for a little bit longer. Right, it is Monday the 18th. I'm going to start with our um, poem for the day, which is called The Heron. And look, there's a beautiful heron there. It's got a lovely long golden beak, which makes it much easier for him to catch fish. And this is all about why herons stand only on one leg. The heron. I said to the heron, why do you stand in that swift flowing stream in the pebbles and sand on only one foot? I'd have thought it'd be more convenient to put both feet in the stream while you patiently seek the silvery fish to spear with your beak. The heron glared back and his voice quickly rose. I'd have thought it was something that everyone knows. In a warm feathered hollow, one foot I now hold because swift flowing streams are very cold. So he's saying the reason why they like to keep putting their foot up into their feathers, you can't see their feet there, but they hold them up, is to keep it warm because the streams in England are freezing. Mm, lovely. Okay, right, so we're going to start today with um, me giving you your spellings for the week. So make sure you have got a whiteboard or it's probably best to record it in a little book or on some paper. If you haven't got those things now, pause the video and go and get them. Okay, welcome back. So the last few weeks we've just been learning lots of tricky words and red words and this week I want us to start to go over um, some of our sounds. So we're going to be learning wor uh, words that have this split A sound in them this week. Can you remember the card for that? Make a cake. So the first word I'd like you to write down, the word I'd like you to learn is made. 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 Okay, so remembering all of the words are going to have this split A sound in them. Okay, maybe do a line. It should look like that. Pause the video if you need longer to copy it down correctly. Number two, the word I'd like you to write is gave. Gave. She gave me a bunch of flowers. Gave. Made and gave. Number three is late. Hurry up, we're going to be late. Ooh, eight. Late. Number four is brave. So it's b -r b -r a -ve. brave. Pause the video if you need to copy, or longer to copy that one down. That is your fourth spelling. And the last one is save help can you save me save there is save so we use we use this split a sound a lot the words when i started to think of which words i was going to choose i could there were so many because we use make and cake and date and gate and shake there was lots of words so i think it's a really really good sound to learn this and particularly in your writing because you use these will use these words a lot when you're writing stories or sentences reminding you when you're learning your spellings yes you can do the triangle way I show you each week but really it's good to start off doing that look cover write check so you look at the word then you say it mm, aid then you copy it and write it out again and then you cover it up with a book so you can't see it and you see if you can write it out without um, looking and check that you get it right. And do that three times that you've got it right, writing it without looking three times before you go on to the next one. And this week they're quite easy because they're all, they've all got the split A sound. There's not different things to remember about um, each word. So you should be able to learn those quite easily. And when you've learned them if, and practiced writing them, even pause and do it straight away now or at the end of the video, I'd like you to write a sentence for each word as well. So you can look at the first word and go, mm, made. I made a cake. You can get cake in as well, which is also a split A sound. I gave my sister a present. I am late for swimming. 
I fell over but was brave. I had to save my Lego from being jumped on by my baby sister or baby brother. You could, you could think of little sentences like that. Okay, so that is today's spellings and there'll be a quiz on Friday for that. So after you've practiced writing those out, I would like you to do the phonics map. So we gave you those at the very beginning of when we um, sent you your pack. It was in your first pack, children. So all year one children should have that. And we're doing phonics activity map four, okay? If for some reason you can't find them, they are in under Twinkle, which is free. So if there is a grown up there and they're thinking we don't have that, it is on the Twinkle website and you write in phonics activity map summer, I think it's summer one, and they will have um, them there and it's the fourth one. So you go through them first of all, you have to just read the words so you can practice reading them out to your lap, to your um, grown up or on your own. Some of them are alien, some of them are real. Again, then you read those words here, again, alien and real. Draw a line to the trash if it's an alien word and a line to the treasure if it's a real word. Then you're practicing the air trigraph, so A-I-R, okay? Any words that have the air sound, as in air, that's not fair, you underline or circle it. Then you add the sound button, so it's just joining a line for the er uh sound. So find the sound, then you draw a line underneath it to show that you found it. And then the last bit is just writing what these this sounds missing to complete the word. Okay, so that should keep you nice and busy. So you have got the phonics to do and you have got your spellings to learn today. Okay, and then tomorrow, and also I was saying to our reception children, the, there's lots of free ebooks on the Oxford Owl website. So after this, if you, you, you know, I can't listen to you read as often, well, I can't listen to you read at all at the moment, but that is the most important thing to keep doing, is to keep on reading. If you go onto the Oxford Owl website, it will have free ebooks and you are um, probably, I'd say, most children who are doing this video, you can look at the age five to six. And if you look at the blue or the green book band level, okay, those books would be books that you could read. And you can read them on your tablet or on your iPad or computer, whatever um, you do this video on. And you can then read it yourself and then you can press play and they can um, read it back to you so you can see if you've got the words right. Or you can read it to um, your mum or your brother or sister or whoever has got some time to listen to you. But try and do that at least two or three times a week because that, that is the most important thing. More important than all of the phonics is actually really just reading lots, okay? And they've got some really interesting stories, so you'll enjoy those. Okay, children, I will be back tomorrow where I'll be reading you a story and um, I think I'm going to read this one. It will be, I will never, not ever eat a tomato. So we're gonna think about the food that we will never, never, ever eat as well. So maybe you can come tomorrow with an idea in your head about what food do you really not like to eat. Okay, see you later, children. Have a lovely day. Bye.